Undefeated after two games, Werribee, coming off a bye, faced a gritty Footscray outfit at Witten Oval. With a strong wind favouring the right of screen, coach John Lamont's instructions were simple. The emphasis was bring your brains and play with some intelligence. Two separate games here. We've got a game for two quarters with the wind and a game into the wind. And I thought they adapted really well. Following the game plan to the letter, the Tigers took advantage of the breeze in the first quarter. Going outside the 50s, a dangerous one. Door just floating into the space. Red path held up by Wilson. Mason Wood booted three goals for the term to go along with seven disposals. He looked a class above. His marking a feature, but his defensive work and pressure also of the highest standard. Up Mason Wood will have the shot at goal. In he comes. On the left, trying to bend it back. Oh, he's done that nicely. I just thought he was really dominant early on. Worked really hard, so kicked some ripping goals where he really had to think his way through and he did it. So, no, really positive. So he's certainly, uh, that's, that's cliche of knocking down the door, he's certainly knocking hard. With a focus on winning the contested footy, Werribee's inside midfielders played their role to perfection. Lamont keen to keep the pressure on. Nothing's new, but we were slow to react on it. Right? And as you know, if anyone's got the ball with our pressure, it's hard to get the ball back on. Our pressure's been good in close, right? Up, but just when the ball gets onto that outside, we've got to switch on quicker and take away that first one when they want to shift the ball around the ground. We want the best, or we're planning for the worst. If it's coming back, we're up on them. Just lower your eyes, hit that kick, get back, pull the trigger on it. Okay, get that ball in the corridor, take the game on. Are we right? Let's make sure our pressure's right and we're hard as we go. So we just knew they really want to string out with hands um, and get a lot of numbers around the ball uh, and work from there. So obviously we just had to sort of play to their structure a little bit and bring some more numbers around the contest so we could even it up and then it just becomes the, the contest. He kicks over the top. And going inside the 50, this ball into the path again, and Majak Dor, he's right near the boundary line, Russell is there, handballs around, McFarlane did well, gets around one, around two, kicks on the outside of the boot and puts it through. Will Fordham's hard running paid dividends in the second term, the rookie with two goals of his own. And now he's got some players in space. Conway goes with the chipping ball over the top into the path of McFarlane, who's going boundary side. He just squares the ball up, but they can line up here, the Tigers. Kick goal. Fordham kicks it. He went and played on, and he picked his seconds. He is a powerful runner. Um, he's, he's got a bit of speed and endurance, so uh, it's good to have him on the outside. I think he played a little bit more forward today as well, so he's adding another string to his bow. Up 32 points at the half, the Tigers headed indoors to regroup and there was plenty of support on hand from the likes of Brad Scott and Michael Ferrito. When play resumed, it was Aaron Black's time to shine. The mobile forward kicked the opening goal of the second half and could have finished the day with a bag, if not for some inaccurate kicking. How did you see some of the other boys' games? Like Aaron Black obviously hit the scoreboard yeah. a little bit, a little bit well, inaccurate. He should have had more goals than he did. Um, yeah, a little bit inaccurate. I really like Faz, right? Faz is looking a class above at this level. With a 58-point buffer and only a quarter to play, Lamont urged his side to close the game out. When we get it, you can let that let the game unfold a bit. We scored up into the breeze, quarter two. We're going to do it again this quarter, aren't we? Come on, here we go. We're going to win the contested ball, and we're going to let the game unfold. We're not going to panic with the ball. Let's play the game on our terms. Come on, hard as well. Move it quick. Let's go. Here we go. And they did exactly that. Werribee notching up win number three. For DeMont, 25 disposals, 9 clearances, 6 inside 50s, 6 tackles and a goal made for a pretty solid outing. It's obviously good to get the hands on the footy a little bit. Um, you always want more, but 25's alright. <laughs> Heath O'Loughlin for nmfc.com.au